Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Let's play some songs together. Uh, I Still Miss Someone will be our first song here today. Uh, key of D, D as in dog. And chord progression is a little bit unusual. Both one, four, five, five, then four, five, one, one. And it just keeps on repeating that over and over again. One, four, five, five, four, five, one, one. And our melody starts way up high here on the root note of the, <clears throat> of, we have the one chord, uh, D note in the key of D. It'd be a C note if you were in the key of C. There. At my door! Then it falls down from there, you know, through the dwelling on the, you know, notes that belong to the other chords in the song until it finally lands on the octave below here. So it's all the way from there, all the way down to there. Okay, here we go. I still miss someone in the key of D. D is, oh yes, the chorus. The chorus, the, the progression. Just four, five, one, one. Uh, four times over. Here we go.
sir. from the early days of bluegrass and it's mighty dark to travel and the choruses and the breaks have the same chord progression as I'll fly away or will the circle be unbroken or Mountain Dew crying holy all those songs uh, the verses are a little bit unusual in that uh, it, uh, if you take the I'll fly away chord progression the progression of the choruses of this song uh, and you omit the four chords then you're left with a great big long stretch of G of the one chord for three whole lines until you finally get your G, D, G, G ending line at the end of the, the, the progression. So it's a lot of G chord actually uh, in, those, in those verses. Uh, 13 measures total all back to back, but don't try to count them like that. <laughs> Do it a line at a time. <laughs> okay. And uh, our tune starts way up top here, kind of like Bury Me Beneath the Willow or Foggy Mountain Top, then descends down from there. And yeah, it is a little bit unusual that the, that the choruses and the breaks use the same chord progression and melody, uh, whereas the verses are the odd man out. Usually it's the opposite. But chord progression would follow the verses and when the choruses and the verses differ from each other but not in the case of this song <laughs>
she has gone. So it is rough, but there was gravel, but I must journey on and on. Okay, while I've got you all hyped up here at high speed, uh, let's do Foggy Mountain Breakdown. And remember, on YouTube, you can always, uh, on the lap, on your laptop, you can always slow this down to 75% or 50% at first if you need to. Uh, but then as soon as you think you just might be able to keep up, give it a try at full speed. And, okay, Foggy Mountain Breakdown, key of G, G as in George. And our three chords, instead of the one, four, five, we have one, and six minor, and five. 6 minor in the key of G is an E minor. And every time it goes to that E minor, I want you to notice it stays there for three measures. Not everyone plays it like that. Uh, you know, there's three distinctly different chord progressions that you can find if you dig up all the recordings that Scruggs has done of this uh, tune over, over the years. Um, it's at, at least three different chord progressions for, for this song. And so the, well, this is one of them. The, you have uh, one, 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 then six minor, six minor, six minor, one, then again, six minor, six minor, six minor, one, then five, five, one, one. And usually we would be starting this off on a banjo. Um, feel kind of strange starting it off on, on the guitar for the jam here, but uh, for our jam video, but that's what we're doing here. <laughs> picking everyone and have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I will catch up with you in 2021. <laughs>